The Department for Work and Pensions DWP, recently published the findings from a survey measuring the public's response to proposed new powers to tackle fraud, error and debt in the benefits system. For each of the six potential new measures described in the British Social Attitudes Survey, comma, there were more respondents who saw the power as acceptable than those who saw it as unacceptable. The potential legislative measures in the survey include providing the DWP with greater third party access to data, collecting information about where claimants are spending money, asking banks to share information about accounts which look like someone may be committing fraud, enabling trained investigators to execute search and seizure orders and giving them the power to make arrests. Two of the potential new powers were seen as completely unacceptable by more than 10% of the overall sample, the power to make arrests, 13%, and the scenario in which DWP could collect information from an airline to see where a claimant is traveling, 11%. The survey was completed by 2,127 people between June 15 and 21, 2023, comprising a nationally representative sample of 1,782 people and a boost of 345 additional claimants. Potential new powers and impact overall, the survey determined that power relating to cross-government data sharing was most commonly seen as acceptable, whilst the proposed arrest powers were least commonly seen as acceptable. The list below represents each of the potential new powers and the percentage of acceptable responses. Potential power government organizations sharing data with DWP about claimants acceptable minus 70% acceptable among claimants minus 58% asking banks to share information about accounts which look like someone may be committing fraud acceptable minus 64% acceptable among claimants minus 51% collecting banking information as soon as fraud is suspected, rather than waiting for a criminal investigation acceptable minus 60% acceptable among claimants minus 47% drain DWP investigators having search and seizure powers acceptable minus 59% acceptable among claimants minus 44% collecting information about where claimants are spending money acceptable minus 52% acceptable among claimants minus 37% drain DWP investigators having arrest powers acceptable minus 51% acceptable among claimants minus 39% the report on Gov. UK said, within the group of DWP claimants, there were consistently lower proportions of people considering the new powers to be acceptable and higher proportions of people considering them unacceptable. However, even within this group, there were more people considering the new powers to be acceptable than people who thought they were unacceptable, for every power except collecting information about where claimants were spending money, where more claimants thought it was unacceptable, 41%, than acceptable, 37%. However, when described in the form of a scenario, more claimants thought this power was acceptable, 42%, than unacceptable, 36%. Some of these differences were small, with claimants fairly evenly split on the acceptability of arrest powers, 39% acceptable versus 37% unacceptable. Get the latest record money news join the conversation on our Money Saving Scotland Facebook group for energy and money saving tips, the latest benefits news, consumer help and advice on coping with the cost of living crisis. Sign up to our record money newsletter and get the top stories sent to your inbox daily from Monday to Friday, including a special cost of living edition on a Thursday, sign up here. You can also follow us on X, formerly Twitter, at recordmoney underscore for regular updates throughout the day. In terms of which powers were most and least acceptable, claimants' views tended to reflect those of the sample as a whole. The DWP's Fighting Fraud in the Welfare System Policy Paper was published in May 2022, you can read it in full on Gov. 
UK here. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.